All right, I have got Petite Simplicity by John Renault in 59. Is open cap. It does have a little mono, not mono top, but little mono crown. That little part at the top of your head, where if someone is standing behind you and looks down, that should uh, look like your scalp showing through. So they've got the moleskin at the front. Just it looks like a little bit of um, like the mono crown is off center. And so there's a little bit of the permatees on either side of it. Open in the back, extended nape, velcro tabs, and open ear tabs. It's hard to get this one on because you go to put it on, all that hair is curling in because it's petite wig, short hair. So I'm trying not to get that all in under the edge of the wig cap. Ooh. No, petite simplicity. I don't know if I've shown this one before because of the color. I may have shown this to show you the color when I was talking about grays at one point. Oops, I'm coming out there. So Good idea to match or coordinate with the color that you get because you're not going to have a lot of color from or not a lot of coverage from the wig being that it is so petite and cropped but that's what's nice about it is it is such a nice cropped boy cut got my little bit of bulk here from the way I've got my hair done up. And where is that? I can't tell. That little area there, that was the mono crown. I think that's it there. Naturally going parting over the left eye, but I'm pretty sure I can make it go the other way too if I want to. Push it forward. You're not going to want to give it too much lift because that's going to uh, expose the wefts. It's supposed to pretty much be laying flat, but you can get a little bit of a finger combing in there just to make it PC. Mold it a little bit. Kind of bogey. I like it. I also have Mono Simplicity, which I believe is an average cap size, and it is in 24B22, so that is a light blonde. So, let's have a look at the inside of that before I trade off into it. Packaged right side out with uh, the net around it and tissue paper on the inside. Gold honey blonde. Does have the extended nape, velcro tabs, open ear tabs, open wefting at the back, and then the mono top. And it's the double monofilament, so that is that nice and smooth area. And then it's got the silicone at the front. Maybe because it's average, it seems like this has a tiny bit more hair, but um, 
We'll see you when I put it on. I like this one. Oh, stretch. It does have a little bit of stretch. It feels so tiny when you put it on because there's not a lot of hair. And so you want to make sure that it's none of the hair is going up underneath the edge of the wig. Um, coverage. Yeah, it's showing a lot of my own area. My own hair growth. So but that would be fine if I was blending in and it's actually not too bad as long as this is my hair is tucked away and that brushes forward. just wants to stay out now. Get out from under things and it doesn't want to go back in. That's the hairline, is that me? Nope. Don't think you're going to wear it up and over, but if the wind blew, it's, it's pretty good actually, even though it's not a lace front. And then I've got the natural looking parting wherever you part it. And that's going from there to there. We could get this going up and over. be better if it matched my own color. So there you go. Simplicity Mono and the other one was Petite Simplicity and the stretch on this more of an average cap size fit. I like them both. Hope you're having a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.